There's two gullies in there now, so they might be trying to bowl full on a bit wider for the drive. It seems to be letting the game flow. Got him! Got him at first slip. Peter Siddles looked the best of the Aussies, and that's why. He's got more balls in the right spot and finds the edge again. This time he's got Cook. They've drawn Alistair Cook into that area that he hates to go. If he has to go forward and across to the ball, that's when he's just a bit vulnerable, reaching for it. His hands give that away. <laughs> it stays in those hands. Shane Watson is the man at slip. Peter Siddle is the man who's having a good day at the Gabba. Really brave effort that from Cook when it was so desperately needed by England. 67, he made it. It's five for 197. A few prior wicket keeper and batsman. England's next man in. I say batsman because look at that average on the right of screen there. 42.13. 300s. Strike rate of 62. Now, we don't normally spend too much time talking about that in Test match cricket, but he scores his run quickly. Goes after the bowlers. This will be good fun to watch. Siddle bowling well. Oh, was there an edge? Oh, he's knocked him over. Knocked him over. I was going up for the LBW. Siddle's on a hat trick. You said it'd be good to watch. <laughs> it was. And that one was 142 kilometres too. It was straight and at the stumps. It's amazing what a wicket can do. Look at that. It was just beating for pace. Good line. He was just late on it. Matt Pride been sitting up in the dugout for a while, waiting for his opportunity. And have a look at Peter Siddle. He's pumped. Bow well. Come on, you beauty. Peter Siddle, well done. Prior gone for a globe. First rock. England, six for 197. Oh, look trouble. at that duck, Warney. Look at that duck. That's never good, is it? Well, we've had back-to-back -back wickets for the second time today. When... Uh, Paul Collingwood went, he faced just eight balls, Matt Pryor just the one. So first Alistair Cook, nicely taken in the end by Shane Watson. And then a rampant Peter Siddle, blowing Matt Pryor out of the water. Right, now, England have a problem. They've got a problem, all right. Stuart Broad hasn't come out yet. He wasn't expecting to, to be batting for this ball. The Australians are ready. Here he comes. He's pulled a bit short there, I reckon. He's uh, England were going along nicely. Didn't really looked like losing a wicket after, tell you. And then all of a sudden, bang, bang, two wickets, and you're out in the middle on a hat trick, facing the hat trick. Would you time him out? Boy, that would have start the Ashes off well, wouldn't it? Sorry, we're not doing that. We're going to time Stuart Broad out. Going to get the Ashes off to a great start. Now we like each other. Tell you what, he shouldn't do is he shouldn't rush. In fact, he slowed himself down. He came bounding out of the of the players' race. And then he got about halfway and he just stopped himself and he flung his arms around a bit. And now Ian Bell's taking time to talk to him because uh, when you have been caught short like that, you're strapping on your, your, your first pad, not even your second pad. You're wondering where your box is. You've picked up the wrong set of gloves, the sweaty ones from practice. Your, your helmet's under the jumper in the corner. You've, and then suddenly you've got to go. And uh, you're very disturbed mentally when you get out of the middle. So the important thing is for Broad to settle himself down here is facing a hat-trick ball with an aggressive umbrella field set. And Peter Siddle is on the hat-trick, also on his birthday. 26 today, Siddle. Will he celebrate it with a hat-trick? Here we go, there's what, four slips, well, almost five slips. What about one, one around the corner, back pad or something like that? I'm backing him. Get ready to yell, happy birthday, Tubbs. Get ready, loosen those vocals up, Tubbs. Here it comes. Here we go. Crowd cheers. Here's Siddle. He's given him! He's given him! Peter Siddle's got a hat-trick on his birthday! Not yet he you hasn't. Little beauty. Not yet he hasn't. Not yet he hasn't, because England will challenge that. They almost have to challenge it. Given the situation of the match, they have to challenge it. It's too big, so not yet, Tom. Settle down, boy. No, it's out. Happy birthday. Here we go. He's gone. It's got to be out, this. It's got to be out, Tubbs. Decision review system. Was it swinging down the leg side? There's the question. A brilliant bit of bowling. Brilliant. Now, bear in mind, Stuart Broad needs a, probably a green light here. Because any sort of, I suppose, orange light, any sort of uh, uncertainty, is it, a, is it a legitimate ball? No problem. No drama at all. Now, 
if there's any sort of doubt, it will go the way of the decision, which has already been given out. Well, I reckon this is going to be out. I don't think that's missing leg. It's well, him on the full. If it's hit him on the full anyway, it's irrelevant because the umpire must assume the path of the ball continues. Original decision out. Forget that 40 centimetres. That won't bother the umpire here. The crowd likes what it sees. Eagle Eye is up on the big screen. Now we're getting through to the umpire out in the middle. Third umpire, Tony Hill from New Zealand, says to Alim Dar, all is well. Peter Siddle, you have a birthday hat trick. <laughs> oh, Peter Siddle, happy birthday, 26 today. He's also got a five wicket haul to go with it. What a day he's having. All of a sudden, four for 197 has become seven for 197. England in trouble, Siddle on fire. Well, he might have rushed to get out there and took his time, and he's, he's taking a long time to get off now. That's an interesting couple of minutes for Stuart Broad. He rushed out there, took his time. Got hit on the toe, walks back with Daddles the Duck. Take your pads off and watch Graham Swan walk out. Wow. Surely, can, how those vocal cords, you got any left arm? We could get four in a row here. Oh, I've got plenty. Oh, Graham Swan's going out there. The crowd is, well, they're worse than me. Let's have a look at it again. Let's have a look at that ball. It's a beaut. There's the first one. Alastair Cook, drawn into a defensive shot. Healthy edge to Watson. Next ball, Matt Pryor. Gets the full ball from Siddle, zeroing at the stumps, and then Siddle bowls the perfect Yorker for the hat-trick. What an over. A game-changing over.